Hello YouTube. Today we are going to build a prototype for add to cart interaction. In the prototype, the users can add or remove items to the cart. The total price and number of items will be calculated on the fly using Figma variables. So let's get started on the prototype. I have already created the design for the home page and a cart component. Since Figma doesn't support images and variables, I have created a separate image component to be used inside the cart. Uh, as a first step, let's create the product cards. I will just create instances of the master component and use Figma variables to update content. So open the variables and create new collection called cards. Within cards, within cards collection, let's start creating variables starting with a string variable for storing product name, followed by two number variables, one for storing number of items and other for storing price per unit. Oh wait, maybe we'll call the first one as number of units for consistency. Content for each card can be added through modes. Let's rename the first mode as card1 and start adding the content. Now we can add the content for other cards by adding the modes. We have added all the card details. Now we will attach all the text layers, the master component to the corresponding variable starting with fruit name, then price per unit and number of units. After linking the variables, we can change the mode of each instance using this little icon here. So we'll just select the instance and change the mode to card 2, then card 3 and so on. Since images are not supported in variables yet, we have to do it manually. We'll just update the component to select the image. Ok, so we have 4 cards and we can start adding the interactions for the add and remove buttons. When a user taps on add button, we have to add it to the number of items and the total price. When they tap on remove button, we have to decrease it from the number of items and update the total price. Before we proceed, I feel that the add button should be on the right side. So let's quickly re rearrange the button. Uh, it's just a personal preference, not a rule. In order to create the interaction, we need to define two more variables. That is total price and total number of units. So for that, go to variables and create a new collection uh, you can call it by any name i will just name it as global and we can define two number variables uh, first one is total price let the initial value be zero and the second variable will be total number of units the initial value also will be zero for that once we have created the total price and units variable, we can link those variables into these text layers. One for total price and the other one for total number of units. Now I believe we have everything required to start adding the interaction. We can select the add button. Then navigate to the prototype tab and add new interaction by clicking on this plus button. Uh, we have to add three different actions. First one is to update the number of units of a particular item, for example, like number of apple. For that, we have to use set variable action and select number of units and change it to number of units plus one. Just remember that. Uh, you should select the corresponding mode here so in this case it will be card 1 and once you have added that add the second action by clicking on this plus button here uh, it will be again set variable so this is to calculate the total price so total price of the order will be uh, total price plus price per unit make sure that uh, you are selecting the cor uh, correct mode in this case card one so second action is done now we have to add one more action so third action is to update the total number of units so just select total number of units and total number of units plus one so that should do and now we have to repeat the procedure for all the other three buttons We have created the interaction for all the add buttons. Now we can create the interaction for the removal button as well. 
similar to the add button we have to add three different action to the removal button so let's select the removal button and go to prototype and add a new interaction and here this select set variable the first one is to update the number of units so select number of units and now we have to set number of units to number of units minus one so remember to uh, select the mode here so here it is card one and the second action is to set variable uh, change the total price so now we have to change the total price to total price minus price per unit so remember again here to set the mode and the third action we have to create is uh, is to update the total number of units so total number of units equal total number of units minus one so now we have added the three necessary actions for this interaction now we can just uh, try it out so now we can see that it's increasing and, and decreasing but uh, there is a problem with the uh, simple here it's going below zero which shouldn't happen so in order to avoid the number going below zero we have to add a conditional and let's go back to the interaction and add a new conditional like if number of items greater than zero and remember again to add the mode so we can just drag it on top and move all three actions inside the conditional i think this should do we can just uh, try the exp try the interaction once we can increase the number of items we can decrease the items so here i noticed a error so it should be card one mode so we have added all the actions now let's try out the interaction so we can increment the item so the number of items is increasing with all the places now when we click on the remove button the number of items is getting reduced and the prices are getting reduced so it's working so next what we have to do is now we have to repeat the interaction for this button to all the other three remove buttons let's do that now let's try the prototype once here you can use the add button to add number of apples and you can see that the count of apples is increasing and also the total price also getting updated based on the number of items and when we remove the items the price is also getting updated and we can add avocado so here you can see the price is getting updated and when we add grapes the price is getting updated and you can use the remove button to update the cart so yeah yeah i think we have covered everything so that is going to be the end of this video let me know if you have any questions you can either reach out to me through the youtube comment section or through our instagram dm if you need the actual work file add a comment thank you see you in the next video